And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, February the 27th, 2021. It's the birthday of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, Portland, Maine, 1807. Went off to Bowdoin College with Nathaniel Hawthorne. After the death of his wife, Mary Potter, from complications of a miscarriage, Longfellow found solace in reading German poetry and began writing poetry of his own. His first collection, Ballads and Other Poems, came out in 1841. It included The Wreck of the Hesperus and The Village Blacksmith, was very popular. Six years later, Evangeline, then the Song of Hiawatha, then the courtship of Miles Standish. And after the tragic death of his second wife, Fanny, in a fire, he translated Dante's Inferno. It's the birthday of John Steinbeck, born Salinas, California, 1902, author of The Grapes of Wrath in 1939, and Of Mice and Men. And it's the birthday of the writer who said truth disappears with the telling of it. Lawrence Durrell, born to a British father and Irish mother in India in 1911, best known for his experimental tetralogy, The Alexandria Quartet. A set of four books, each of which covers the same set of events, but from a different narrative viewpoint. He was hoping to write a book about love and memory and space, that would blend Einstein's theory of relativity with the ideas of Freud and Carl Jung. And rather than being structured by chronology, the story is structured by memory and geography. The four books came out in the 50s, Justine, Balthaser, Mount Olive, and Cleo. The first one narrated by a young Englishman, a struggling writer, schoolteacher, remembering his love affair with a rich and beautiful married Jewish woman in Alexandria, whom everyone else also seemed to be in love with. Lawrence Durrell, born in India, was sent off to England when he was 11 to go to boarding school. He hated living in England, thought it was like an autopsy, it was so dreary. And when he was turned down by Cambridge, he left England, spent most of the rest of his life abroad. In the span of 15 years, he lived in Paris, in Greece, in Cairo, Alexandria, in Argentina, in Belgrade, and Cyprus. Eventually returned to France and settled there. Made a living selling real estate, playing jazz piano in nightclubs, ran a photography studio. He taught, he edited, worked in public relations. It was in Paris in the late 30s that Lawrence Durrell met Henry Miller, whose tropic of cancer he had enjoyed. They became great friends and corresponded back and forth for the next 50 years. Here's a poem for today by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, entitled Curfew. Solemnly, mournfully, dealing its dole, the curfew bell is beginning to toll. Cover the embers and put out the light. Toil comes with the morning and rest with the night. Dark grow the windows and quenched is the fire. Sound fades into silence. All footsteps retire. No voice in the chambers, no sound in the hall. Sleep and oblivion reign over all. The book is completed and closed like the day, and the hand that has written it lays it away. Dim grow its fancies, forgotten they lie, like coals in the ashes they darken and die. Song sinks into silence, the story is told, the windows are darkened, the hearthstone is cold. Darker and darker, the black shadows fall, sleep and oblivion reign over all. Curfew, a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. That's the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, February the 27th, funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and... Keep in touch.